Hi, I'm Mike Zima from Mallorca, Spain, and today we're going to talk about Google Keyword Research inside of the Google Marketing Cloud. So you're just starting to do keyword research for your website and you're stuck and you're not certain where you should be looking, which tools you should be using. So I'm going to go through Keyword Research 101 by using tools available inside of the Google Marketing Cloud. Some of these tools are not officially a part of the Google Marketing Cloud. However, these tools are all deeply integrated and Google is trying to provide a better experience so you can leverage all the data that is available inside of Google and also apply this data to your website so you can enrich the experience of visitors coming to your site. So we're going to start by addressing a couple of different strategies. How to apply keyword research from zero experience how to leverage your website today and use that data, how to find new keyword opportunities in Google or Google Ads. So the first thing you have to do when you're doing keyword research is you need to create a sheet. And as that sheet loads, let's go into Google Trends. Uh, depending on what topic you're trying to research, you'll have some sort of an idea, but I'm already certain that I'm going to look into, let's see, let's find a nice, Let's look at CBD oils because this is a popular one, or we can go into fat grips, which is also a popular athletic arm. Uh, I'm going to look at cool sculpting because this client of ours is really interested in cool sculpting. So cool sculpting is uh, a technique to basically improve your appearance and get fit and lean, but I have no idea. So let's just go in and put cool sculpting, sculpting into Google Trends. Google Trends is a tool that helps you understand what sort of data is available inside of Google and what states, countries, and search terms are happening. So I'll just walk you through some of the basics. With this tool, you're looking at a specific keyword or a search term. So without any knowledge of what a search term is or how much volume it has, we're not gonna touch on that. We're trying to understand the popularity of these search terms. So you'll see a graph here. This is going to show you the interest of time on a scale of zero to 100. Zero to 100 doesn't correlate with search volume, it correlates with interest in searches. So you can see over time in the past 12 months, this has been the interest and the interest is going back up. So there's some seasonality with this right away off the bat. I can also segment into different countries, assuming I want to target different countries or I can default it worldwide. I'd recommend leaving it at a country and the country that you are based in in order to have the best impact. You'll start seeing very interesting insights based off of different states. So this could help you influence interest in different markets by applying this data to your campaigns in, let's say, your SEO campaigns or your Google campaigns. And what's interesting is at the bottom, you're going to see related topics. And there's a lot of different topics here. So you can see some of these topics may have more of this market share here that they are rising. And you can also see what's on the top here. So very, very interesting liposuction. So a lot of fat cutting uh, information here. Now, what we're seeing here is related keywords. And this is what you want to work with is just start building a list of keywords. So you have about 25 keywords here. Let's just export that. Open that up. Usually Google should have a feature to upload it to Google Drive. So we have our keywords here. And we have some information. So let's see, we have our cool sculpting. We have our rising keywords. So this is giving us some interest on breakouts here. So just the way I would read it is, let's see, this might be interesting. After cool sculpting, does cool sculpting work? What I'm doing is I'm just making a note uh, in the cell here so I can find a couple of keywords that I like. How, so a couple of interesting ones, then the volume starts to drop down, a couple, other ones, dangers of cool sculpting. That might be an interesting topic to discuss or optimize for. Freezing fat cells. How much does cool, cool sculpting cost for abdomen? How much does it cost for cool sculpting? Cool sculpting prices near me. A near me keyword is rising in popularity in SEO. However, it would make more sense in 
reviewing this keyword for a possible AdWords campaign. So I have a couple of keywords here. When you're copying over the data, you also want to make sure you have the columns here. I'm just going to do keywords, info, selects. These are the ones I want to pick. Let's just quickly pick them. So just by sorting them, I can get a quick list of keywords. So here's some keyword selects. And you can spend a lot of time researching these keywords. Let's say we want to call these keywords and then cool sculpting and then freezing fat cells. Let's say I want to compare cool sculpting versus freezing fat cells because I want to write an article talking specifically about fat burning and other things you can do in cool sculpting. So we can see here that cool sculpting is definitely a popular term and it has a lot more interest and cool and fat and freezing fat cells does not. If the number is flat for a search term that you're looking for, it is likely the opportunity is just emerging. And if you start creating content for, for it, don't feel discouraged because if more techniques are emerging for freezing fat cells, this is only going to grow in popularity and a part of SEO is being first. So if you're first with an article that discusses the different types of freezing fat cells, this will give you a lot of interest. But you can see there is a lot of interest in these four markets in excess of a 90 each. So you can see that these four would be really interested. So it makes sense that California, it's a very big market, New York, very big one, Texas and Florida would do that. So this gives you at least some contrast and you can garner a lot of insights from it. So if you've already set up your site for SEO, you're going to have Google Search Console. And in Google Search Console, I've already talked about how you can utilize it to optimize your pages, but you're also being given thousands and thousands of keywords as your site begins to evolve. So I know that we're targeting cool sculpting. So let's go back to my keyword research document and I'm looking at cool sculpting. So if you're starting from zero, use Google Trends. But if you have a website and you have some data and you want to maximize it, Google Search Console is going to be the next step. So let's go into queries and in the query filter, I can just filter out any of the keywords that have cool sculpting about 85 keywords. I can export this data. There it is, Google Sheets. Now I can take this into Google Sheets and export the data, let it run for a minute. Here you'll be able to review keywords, benchmark web pages that are ranking for this specific keyword. You can segment by web pages, time, country, search results, device, and you can also find new opportunities to optimize your site for. This is starting to look a lot better. So to keep everything nice and tidy, let's organize everything here. So I have my keyword selects from trends. Now I have my Google search console keywords. And I have my information here. I like to sort it by impressions or clicks. This is really up to you because right now I'm pulling all of this data from the website. Uh, in this case, this is going to be worldwide. Now, when I go back into Google Search Console, let's go into Country, USA, select another data set, export it. This will create a lot of sheets inside of your Google Drive, so get used to that. You're going to have to delete and clean them. So here you have 72 keywords. We typically rank mostly inside of the US for this website. So this is going to be USA and I'm more interested in the USA today. So let's, let's look at these keywords. I can already see 95 K. Uh, it's just 9.5 K impressions. It's, it's staggering. And we're only getting a, a almost a 0.15 click through rate on it. So improving this keyword is something that we want to target, but we know it's really hard. There's a lot of searches. There's a lot of competition and we're getting a terrible, terrible click through rate. So we have to work on building content around these other keywords that we're still getting impressions for, but they're really, really small. So I can actually go back in here. Let's create selects. I just want to make sure the sort is there. So DIY, I like that one. At home Reddits, let's just pick five. Can you do cool sculpting at home? That's a great introduction to a comment or a title. 
do-it-yourself cool sculpting, DIY cold sculpting at home, at home machine. So these are five keywords that we want to target. So we've gone and selected some keywords that give us an idea. They're not necessarily keywords yet because we don't have the data to support them. We went inside of Search Console and we pulled some keywords that we like, and we actually have five keywords that we like right now. So let's see what sort of opportunities there is in the DIY cool sculpting. When you have all this data accumulated, where you're going to go next is Google Ads. Inside of Google Ads, when you create a keyword uh, account, you can use the Keyword Planner. And what the Keyword Planner is, when you go inside of Tools, you can get to it. And this is old school SEO. We've been using the Keyword Planner. There are still people that have been using it since Google released it over 10 years ago. So it's a valuable tool for your business. We can do two things. You can enter a URL to garner some insights uh, on keyword options. Or since we already have an idea of a keyword that we're trying to re research, we'll go with this one. And this is going to give us some interesting information and it is the most, most useful tool. So you can find keywords that helps you forecast trends based off of search volumes and competition, add impression share. So if you're already running these keywords, you can see how much of the share you have in the marketplace for that keyword. And the bidding price is to be on top or the bottom. And there's other keyword information here uh, as well. And they also give you a download feature where you can download this too. They have columns where you can learn about different types of features and columns and what this all means. But I'm more interested in the keywords and the search volume because those are the, the two things that are going to drive the needle. Uh, now I have some more keywords here. So I took DIY cool sculpting. I'm gonna download this. So that's one keyword. So Google is already giving us recommendations here and we can just click it and dive into these recommendations and build a list of keywords data. So let's open up another sheet. And you can just see how dense this trend is. It shows you all the trends over time. It shows you the evolution of the trends. But really, I care about these three, four columns. I'm going to go back into here. Call it Google Ads. And I'm going to start pulling in all of the keywords here for cool sculpting. So I just, I'm starting to build a list here, and that's what we're going to accomplish next. So I have... A good amount of keywords here with a good amount of search volume. Uh, so unknown, once it starts getting lower, it is at a risk of maybe no one's really searching for it and it might not be a good fit. And also somebody might be searching for it in the future. So you can build up your SEO around these lower volume keywords in order to proliferate and grow over time. Too many people go after the biggest opportunity and they're frustrated because they don't see the results when in fact there is a lot of results and improvement that's happening at the bottom of your keywords that are happening on page two or three or four for a keyword that is attracting some attention but not a lot of attention. So don't get stuck on these big keywords right here. So going back to my search console list, so can you do cool sculpting at home? Interesting, this is a question based keyword. You can enter all of them at once or one at a time. I recommend do everything one at a time so you can see everything clearly, read everything clearly, and start understanding. So you can see the list is getting smaller here. I'm gonna download these again. And it's, it's a continuous process of downloading and improving and downloading and improving. So I don't have to take the labels for this anymore because I already have my keywords here. So I have a couple keywords. Now what's my next keyword that I want to research? Do it yourself cool sculpting. Okay, let's get that one. It's an interesting keyword, let's turn this off. And I'll add the next two keywords as well and take advantage. So nothing here for this keyword. Get results, some results here, and then let's get cool sculpting at home machine. seven keyword ideas, 21 keyword ideas. Now let's download it. And I'm going to put this in back into the sheet. Now I've covered all of the keywords that I'm really interested in working on this week. Now let's put these in, get into the column. Let's make my select column. Now I'm going to select this. 
let's search by search volume. Now let's select some keywords. Of course I want to be number one, but don't get discouraged if you can't rank on page one for number one for DIY cool sculpting. A couple others. You can see there's a duplicate. You can ignore those. Cool sculpting machine for home use. And let's see a couple more. Delete the blanks. And voila. I have a list of keywords that I want to target. I can make my final keyword list. And there you go. You have 11, 12, 11 keywords that are viable that you can use on your website right now. You can see what the major opportunity is here. This is the one you want to rank for. But you can also look at these smaller opportunities in creating articles around these sort of subjects. So it really isn't that difficult. You just have to take the time to do the research. And SEO is all about research and patience because the results don't happen today. They happen at some point in the future. Make sure you're exporting all of your data into a Google Sheet so you can keep everything neat and tidy. Make sure you're creating individual tabs for each of the different sources that you're trying to pull in and make sure you're creating and cleaning these lists by using the select tip that I showed you and at the end you should have at least 10 to 20 keywords that make sense and you're going to have to repeat this process continuously as you start getting more data inside a Google search console it will become easier but for the most part these tools are all you need to improve your SEO.